everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. I look like an egg today, that is because it is hotter than the sun. I am not a fan of the heat, probably gonna get a lot of hate for saying that, but I really, I just can't deal with this. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is a Q&A, Q&A of your most requested, asked questions about China, love never dies, where I disappeared to for like two years. So one question that I received a lot was what was the audition process like for love never dies? And I've made a whole video about that. So go and click in the corner if it appears. Oh, this is a good one. How did you train your voice to be able to take on a role like Christine? For those of you that don't know the show or aren't that familiar with Phantom, Phantom of the Opera, Christine is a character in both of those and she has a lot of singing to do. So sings a lot and the style is she's meant to be like an opera star um so it's very very classical and legit in style very very intense and i feel like phantom is very intense sing for christine love never dies is i feel like potentially more intense than phantom it's epic um and i think i was a little bit daunted to start with because i was like i've never done a role like that in that style and it, she is on like she is on stage for like at one point i think it's like a 20 minutes like non-stop she's on since she when she makes her first entrance she just doesn't leave the stage and it's not like she's like part of loads of other stuff it's like literally just her and the phantom singing at each other for about 20 minutes so it's like i think the one thing that i'm really glad that i had built up before I went out to China was vocal stamina. And I think that is super, super important. Also singing a lot in the style of the piece before um, really, 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 really helped. Maybe I'll make a video a bit more on this subject in more detail because I think something like that, it's just not an easy task. Like you have to go into singing a role like that, like an athlete, like you just, it's, it's a lot. You have to take care of yourself. You have to do the right types of exercises for that style of show. And I think I wasn't just doing say vocal warm ups. There were other things that I was doing like with my body to also help me prepare. A lot of things that I picked up from my singing teacher, not just singing though. It's like, I, I really, my warm ups are very, very short in terms of like actually singing, but there was other stuff around it that I did and other stuff I did to kind of keep my voice in check in terms of stretches and what kind of things I drank and ate and how much sleep I got, you know, like like lifestyle as well, really, 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 really plays into it. And also repetition, I think I literally had to, like in terms of the stamina, I had to get myself to that point because I, when I got out there, I didn't sing or do anything like in terms of the show for a, quite a while, so thankfully, I kind of did it myself. Like there were times when I was literally in, cause there were certain like theaters where they wouldn't let you use rooms and things like that. I was literally like stood in rooms in the dark cause I didn't know how to turn on the light, just singing through the show because. Just heading on up to the rehearsal studio to do a bit of singing, hopefully if it's free. Probably won't make some time if you drive, so I just really need practice. So I was like, I can't come out here and then not sing for like, a month and then try and sing this role it's just not gonna happen so I sort of took it upon myself to keep on top of it and keep singing it and I think that is like for me I think that's probably the most important thing and the most beneficial thing is just consistency and stamina and I think you get the stamina and you build the stamina by being consistent I could literally talk about this all day so I'm gonna move on to a different question. But whoa, this is one that I think I literally need to make a whole series of videos about. What were the major differences touring in China versus a UK tour? Every single thing I can think of, like if you ask me any single thing, every single thing was different. I feel like touring anywhere internationally, you kind of are, it's kind of taken out of your hands a lot of it in terms of like accommodation, flights, all that kind of thing. The company will book and sort pretty much everything for you. Whereas in the UK, the actor 
has to do all of that themselves. They get a certain allotted amount of money to do that. But for the most part, you have to book everything yourself. So like digs, um, hotels, make sure, like trains, all that kind of thing, most of the time. That's one thing that was completely just like, I'd never experienced that before. And it was really nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is the most stressful quick change you've had? Have I got something on my face? Probably, it's probably just all my makeup melting off. Oh my gosh, okay, so I didn't realize Christine had such stressful, quick, quick changes, like quick. The whole team had these quick changes down to a fine art and I'm so grateful to them and to Manon who played Christine when we were in China for helping me and Manon literally talked me through everything, every single thing, everywhere, like everywhere to put my hands, where to face, like what was happening around me, literally, I, and I need that level of information to feel not absolutely terrified by something like that. And it was such a help and such a, like if you're going already into something a little bit, well not a little bit, a lot unknown, you know, you've never done it before, having that information and also such an incredible team of hair, makeup, wardrobe around you and a technical team. It just made it, it actually wasn't in the end, I mean, it's still stressful, but it wasn't that like stress of like, am I gonna make it? Cause I kind of knew I would. The most stressful one for me. So this is in Love Never Dies, by the way. I've done quick changes in other shows, but never like this. So in the start of like Christine's first scene in Love Never Dies, she enters and she's wearing like this beautiful coat, hat, just like gloves, everything. And then she gets into a carriage the carriage shuts, there's a tiny little bit of music, and then the curtain comes up and she is in a completely different costume in like a hotel, like in like a night dress. Um, and that happens, I think it's like, a, I think the, the change, did they say it was like seven seconds or something? I think they'd like counted it. I think they said it was about seven seconds. I really wanted to film it. Like, I just love stuff like that. I love watching quick changes and things like that. But I only, I only got a certain amount of shows and I think I was still, even in my last show, absolutely petrified. It just was not, there just would, it just would not have happened. Like it was so difficult. It's actually really difficult. But yeah, so this quick change was super fast because you were in the carriage, the carriage shut, and then I had to get out of all of the clothes pretty much in the carriage, in this little carriage in the dark with Gustav and Raoul, the airplane gang as they liked to play. Cause I'd not done it that much. I'm a man, like I was just like, oh, and I just like couldn't get out of like the stuff. And like, she has this big like fur thing around her and like the gloves. And I was just like, oh my God. And it was just so, so stressful. And then you literally had to like in the dark, jump, just jump out of the carriage, literally into the dress. And then you were on. Like it, I can't even really remember it. It was that fast but yeah it's, it was wild and there were certain things like you couldn't take the shirt off straight away obviously because there was a child present so you had to keep that on until the very last second yeah I'd love to have filmed it because it was crazy crazy stressful she had some other quick changes but that was the worst one someone's put which brand of eyeliner did Christine and Phantom use curious about dressing table so I think they might mean lip liner um because there's a scene called the dressing room scene. So I'm thinking that's what I'm, I, if I'm wrong, I'm really, really sorry to this person, but I think they mean lip liner because in the dressing room scene where the Phantom and Christine kiss for the first time and Christine's got a lot of red lipstick on, Phantom has his, you know, Phantom-ness happening. So I think that's what they're talking about. Like, how did they, how did they kiss without it going everywhere? Um, it kind of did go everywhere, to be honest. I come off and it'd be like, ah. but I did have a really good lipstick that I bought that actually really, 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 really helped. And it stayed put really well. It was a really matte one. It was like um one of the MAC retro matte. It was like a liquid lipstick. And I think it was like the Ruby Woo, but it was called like Ruby Few. <laughs> um, so I used that. And then I also used a lip liner from MAC as well, I think, or a Kryolan, Kryolan red lip liner. So that was my combination. Um, and yeah, it stayed put pretty well. Um, I don't know about the Phantom. 
You'd have to ask him. I've had a lot of questions, which is so lovely, asking where I went <laughs> when I wasn't on YouTube. Um, like, what prompted your break on YouTube? Are you okay? So worried when you disappeared. And I feel really bad. Like, I didn't mean to worry anyone. I wasn't trying to, like, be dramatic or anything. Like, I kind of just tried to sort of creep away without anyone really noticing um but thank you to the people that have messaged me privately and left comments and you know checked in to see if i'm okay please know that i really appreciate your concern and you know like checking in and all that kind of thing i i don't know if it's like something i'm ready to talk about yet i mean maybe i will at some point maybe i won't but i did take a break from YouTube, from acting as well. It wasn't just YouTube. It wasn't anything to do with the industry, with YouTube. It was very much for personal reasons. Um, maybe it's something that I'll talk about at some point, but I don't know. I don't know. Would you want to hear about that more personal side of things? I feel like this channel is very informative and very, I want to like help you guys. I don't want you to feel like I'm just like talking at you about myself. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's something I'll talk about at some point, but for now, I did have a break, but I'm back. Someone said, were you nervous about coming back to YouTube after your hiatus? And the answer is yes. I was not even sure if I was gonna come back. Um, it just was like something that I sort of was like, well, I guess I don't do that anymore. And it was sort of a very, like I said in my last video, I think it was, it was a very spur of the moment decision. Um, kind of just went for it and now I'm like, oh yeah, I absolutely remember why I did this. I love it so much. I love being creative. I love sharing information, advice and things with you guys and connecting with you all. So I'm really, really, really happy to be back. Um, but yeah, I was super nervous when I was going to post that first video. <laughs> Someone's put, welcome back. Are you wearing an engagement wedding ring in your video? And I was like, for ages, I was like, a what? No. But maybe it was, oh wait, it's either this one, but this is a cladder ring, um, not an engagement ring, or it was, I'm trying to work it out, but I think it may be, might have been my first video back where I was showing clips of me as Christine. Christine wears a wedding ring because she's married to Raoul, spoiler alert, in Love Never Dies. So that also might have been why. So I was technically wearing a wedding ring, but I'm not engaged in real life just in the world of theatre. How did you react when you found out you had got Christine alternate? I genuinely, like, I found out and I got off the phone and I just sat back down at my laptop and just carried on working because I was like, I think I was so in shock. I was like, my brain just couldn't quite comprehend. So I kind of got off the phone with my agent. And I was like, right, well, better get back to those emails. <laughs> it took me a while for it to sink in because I think it was like such a lot of information to find that out, which was just like absolutely incredible. After also waiting and not knowing and also thinking I wasn't gonna get it. And also then being like, right now I've got to move to China and right, uh, how do I do that? How did you feel on this tour? Is there anyone or anything that has particularly impressed you? I absolutely, I feel like I don't even know if I've said this yet. I had the best time. I absolutely loved it. I feel like that was really intense. I absolutely loved it. It was an incredible experience. I, I absolutely loved getting to see China, traveling to so many different places in China. I've got loads of footage from when I was out there. So I'm gonna kind of make some vlogs and share it all with you guys and share as much as I possibly can with you. But I absolutely loved everything about it. I think things that impressed me, the first thing that really like, not impressed me, but I just found incredible was, the support from the audience and from fans of the show. It was like nothing I've ever, ever, ever experienced before. It was incredible. And I, I received some beautiful gifts, some beautiful flowers, and I never would have ever expected anything. And and getting to meet so many lovely people was just, that, that for me, I think, that was my, apart from the show, that was my favorite thing about the experience was just like getting to connect with so many new people and, also just how much, I don't know, it just was really lovely to see that appreciation for theatre because I think, you know, I do think we have an appreciation for theatre in the UK, but I don't know, not, I don't think it is as widely appreciated and the response and the appreciation, honestly, it was amazing. Um, so that was incredible. I was also very, very impressed by the theatres. They are just beautiful. Some of them were just so 
clever in their like architecture and their design and they were huge and like just be it was just so that was really cool as well yeah just seeing so many amazing theatres and getting to perform on those stages um but yeah that like I mean obviously the thing that impressed me the most was the show because I'd never I had seen it I saw the original but I hadn't seen apart from there's an Amazon Prime video of the show actually which is really good um but that's the only sort of reference I had for the show and I really enjoyed that but I think when I first sat down to watch Love Never Dies in China like just in the audience when I got out there I I was overwhelmed I just it, it is incredible like I just didn't really realize how much of an impact it would have and as well like I hadn't really been to the theater for a, a while but even so, like, it was just everything about it. it was, it's, it's truly a spectacle of a show. Like, I cannot believe that it's not on everywhere. Like, it, it truly is amazing. And the music is just incredible. The set, the, the costumes, everything about it was, it was like a dream. It was like a, a dream come true. Incredible. I'm going to leave it there because I've waffled on quite a lot. I didn't answer anywhere near, probably not even half of the questions. So I'm really sorry. I need to get better at being quick with my answers and stop waffling on but I will do another one of these very very soon but I really enjoyed that it was nice to reminisce it was nice to share little bits of information with you so it's also made me think oh I want to make a video about that and a video about that and like really delve into some of the topics in a lot more detail um so I'm gonna do that I think thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye